Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Abel Freak and today we'll compare speed test between these two devices. On the left side we have Xiaomi Poco F3 and on the right side we have Samsung Galaxy Note 8 Exynos variant with 256 GB of internal storage storage just to mention that so let's quickly boot them up at the same time and see which one is quicker so three to one go and like always guys if you're new to the channel subscribe will be really awesome i'll put them side by side in the middle of this video something like this i think yeah and let's just wait for the results guys and you can see poco f3 is just slightly faster than this Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So we'll go straight to settings and show you the, you know, device versions, software update. So there is no software updates for them. As you can see, your software is updated and there is no updates on this Xiaomi also. And guys, I'm really sorry if you can hear uh, my computer PC in the background because it's rendering right now a lot of files and it's pretty noisy in this room but it is what it is we must film so let's start just right now first check no recent used apps no recent items and start just right now with the phone Poco F3 definitely messages Poco F3 YouTube Poco F3 Let's go back. Settings. Poco F3 is slightly faster. Play Store. Poco F3 again slightly faster. It's not a big deal here. Yeah. Let's let me just set this one here. Let's go with let's go with what we have right now. I think Facebook, yes. Still Poco F3. WhatsApp. Poco F3, Wiper, Poco F3, Instagram, Poco F3 slightly faster guys, it's a newer, you know, chipset and faster phone overall, but we are here to find out is this really a big deal, and you are the judge here guys, let's go with Snapchat, much faster on Poco F3 I will say. Jetpack, a joyride first game. Guys, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 was faster in this uh, Jetpack joyride, really awkward. Let's go with PUBG Mobile right now. As you can see, Poco F3 definitely much faster here, much faster here. And there it is. Let's go back to home screen. Right now we have uh, this Angry Birds 2. And as you can see, Poco F3 again. Let's go back to home screen. Subway surfers right and now. Poco F3. Let's go back. Tempo run two.
Poco F3 definitely. Faster phone. Let's go back. Among us right now. Poco F3, let's go back. Right now we have this, I need to uninstall this, we don't, we will do that later. Right now we have uh, this uh, color switch, which is here. Poco F3 definitely again, let's go back to home screen. And because we cannot, you know, download that free, we can download FreeMark test on this, uh, you know, Note 8, but with Android 9, we cannot start that wide, uh, wide life test, so I'll just switch to this Geekbench 5 test. And we will start, you can see Android 11 compared to Android 9, and we can start this right now and just wait for the results. So let's just go straight to results. So guys, we are back and these are the results for this Geekbench 5 test. We can see single core score is a really, really great on this Poco F3 and also the multi-core score. And basically, compared to this uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8, it's like three times better. So as you can see, Android 11 compared to Android 9. We can see something like 6 gigabits of RAM here and 6 on this one also. And that's pretty much it. Like, like I said earlier, this is Exynos variant, so it's not Snapdragon. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And like always, we will see you in the next one. Peace.